Hello Soul Family Far and Wide, Cora Flora here and today I am feeling inspired to make an inspirational card reading video from my office. You'll notice this sign in the background is the sign that I used when I traveled across Canada with a psychic fair this summer. And yeah, so here is a reading that is meant to be inspiration to support you in living your heaven on earth at this time. My intention is always guidance in alignment with your highest good. And I invite you to simply be open to seeing this perspective, of course, honoring your own inner truth and taking it with a grain of salt. So here we go. And I apologize for the creaking. I am sitting on a piano bench right now. Just ordered a new chair. I'm about to get an upgrade. <laughs> but for now, working with what is here. Do a few more of these, okay. All right, so I'm going to start with one card from the Keepers of the Light by Kyle Gray. We have Holy Amethyst, Divine Alchemy. Be move beyond current challenges, focus on what you desire. And I have to say that Amethyst is one of my favorite crystals because it transmutes negativity into positivity. I find it so cleansing and just clearing, and it's also my birthstone for February. And so I would love to actually go into the book and share what it says, because it's helpful sometimes. All right. You are ready to move beyond energies or situations that are no longer helpful to you and make space in your life for something more purposeful. You may feel a real need for clearing out, not just mentally or emotionally, but physically too. There is a sense that you are moving beyond challenges and forging, forging golden opportunities from stagnant or unhappy experiences. It's important to recognize that you are like a magician at this time, with the ability to use your thoughts, will, and actions to bring about life-fulfilling and dream-enhancing opportunities. It's, import it's important now to focus on what you desire and not what you fear, because what you give your energy to will literally begin to flourish. Call on Holy Amethyst to help you focus on golden opportunities. So, Holy Amethyst, the spirit that is depicted in this card, I invite you to help all of us focus on golden opportunities at this time. And intuitively, I'm just getting a feeling of um, courage, and courage to be outside of our comfort zone, and courage to recognize that sometimes golden opportunities require us to step into a whole new reality and perhaps take a risk that we never would have done before, but suddenly just recognizing that a whole different choice can create a whole different result. So being open to doing things in a different way. All right, so I have three cards now from Psychic Tarot for the Heart by John Holland. So here we go. And I hope you don't mind that I'm wearing this mask. I just, I bought it online and I really like it and I just put it on for the first time today and I think it looks pretty. Um, okay, here we go. So we have giving and receiving. Beautiful. And to me, this speaks of giving and receiving your soul gifts, your essence, your truth, your joy, your bliss, all the things that you genuinely feel light you up. And it's when you're lit up that then your soul qualities and energy is even more activated, even more powerful, and then able to not only be of service more, but also share more value that then is reciprocated. So I get a feeling that anything that replenishes you with you and lights you up and feels good and feels inspiring, feels empowering, feels healing is very, very good right now. So an encouragement in the flow of giving and receiving. I also get a feeling of giving and receiving your truth, being fully authentic as much as possible as it feels safe for you. And daydreams and decisions. I and mean, I just want to say on the topic of sharing truth but feeling safe, again, I feel like this is where... Yes, of course, discretion is important, but I feel like the more that we are courageous and brave to share our hearts, to share our truth. Wow, that bird really, oh, okay. <laughs> Wants to share its truth. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like it, it, it is important to also recognize that sometimes when we're meant to share a gift or a truth or an authentic flow of our soul, something sometimes there might be fear around around it or there might be a hesitation. There, and it might involve some courage to take a risk. And I feel like there's an encouragement to do that because deep down, we have nothing to hide. When we transcend these bodies at the end of our lives, or perhaps within if you're very developed spiritually, um, but 
all of us is loved as we return to source. And so I feel like there's an encouragement to stop hiding and be 100% truthful at this time and to not be scared of what other people might think. I mean, it's fair to be scared, but I feel like life is too short to let ourselves be held back by fear. Because where there's fear, there's power, and it's time for us to be empowered. So daydreams and decisions. <laughs> so this actually really makes me feel um, body wisdom. I feel an encouragement to get into your body when it comes to making decisions or moving forward in your life. I get a feeling that in times of intensity, times of change, it can be tempting to just go into our heads and try to figure everything out. But I get a sense that there is a lot of body wisdom for all of us. So taking time to meditate, move, preferably both at the same time, will be very helpful for you at this time of clarifying, connecting with your soul and allowing spirit to move through you, the spirit that you are, to move through your body even more, the light to light up through the light bulb that you are even more by your connection with source. And finally, we have heart chakra. Beautiful. Uh, so this is speaking about divine love. I feel like it's meaningful that giving and receiving was coming up. And yeah, I feel like an encouragement to remind you that everything is possible by the grace of God, of love, of source. And when you are in your heart, you are fully connected to that power that creates worlds. It's your access point, one of your greatest access points. Um, so yeah, there's an encouragement to connect with your heart and check in with your heart. And most of all, honor your heart. Your feelings are important, valid, valuable. You are a divine child of great spirit, great love, great source. So it's time for you to really respect what you feel and take it seriously. Of, of course, honoring that sometimes you might be reacting or you might be triggered. So being careful about how you express things and to whom. Um, but definitely anything that involves self-reflection that doesn't harm anyone, that allows you to just express yourself and honor your truth and then take action as you feel guided when you're centered and feeling connected to your soul and heart can be very beneficial. So I also want to just do one more quick little reading from the book here on the heart chakra. Let's see what we got. Heart chakra. Parallel to the heart, the heart chakra represents unconditional love, compassion, harmony, relationships, and healing. It's believed to be the link between mind, body, and soul. To activate this chakra, take a moment to send from your heart loving, healing energy to send from your heart loving healing energy in the form of blue and green waves. Blue for peace, green for healing. Sending this to everyone and everything unconditionally. This love will be returned to you for your own healing. So there you go. So I hope you enjoyed this little mini reading. And yeah, I'm looking forward to making more videos soon. And feel free to check out my website if you're interested in learning about my music or my healing coaching offerings. I'm here to be of service and connect with all the souls that I can in empowering us to live, our, live and be our greatest potential. <laughs> Intuitive guidance empowering you and your greatest potential. All right, I'm being kind of silly right now. But yeah. Anyways, I'm looking forward to the next video that I make without this creaky chair. <laughs> all right. Have a beautiful now, a beautiful moment flowing forward and flow of a harmony of moments. Blessing you, loving you, and hope to connect with you soon.